In today's vlog, Charlie and I are gonna take you round our home city of Winchester. It is the capital of Wessex. Now, there's a few sites we're gonna show you, so let's check them out from the top of St. Giles's Hill where we are at the moment. It's a little bit windy. A little bit. So our journey is gonna take us down the hill. Then we're gonna stop at City Mill, which is on the River Itchen, where they still make whole mill flour. Then you've got King Alfred's statue, the old King of Wessex. Then you have the Guildhall. We're gonna shoot across over to the cathedral. Then to Jane Austen's house where she spent her final days. We're then gonna take all the way up to the top of Winchester at the West Gate and then finish off at O'Neill's pub because it is St. Patrick's Day. First stop, City Mill. I've never been in there. No, neither have I. But no. I've never been to St. Giles' Hill either. No, you've never even been up to St. Giles' Hill. So this is new to us as well. Let's go and explore. So we've got actually working machinery here. Check this out. It's actually turning. And we've got, we've got all the whole mill in there as well that's being grind, ground up. What are you looking at? This shows how it actually works. It's a working replica. It's a working replica. Are you pressing the button? <laughs> yeah, there's a button on the side. So all the, all the water mill gets gets it going, doesn't it? The wheel. It then turns the crown wheel, which is up, up high, I think. And then you've got the ground floor, the working millstone. But this is what all of this is. It is, it is really noisy. Oh. Wow. So here is the water wheel in action, all from the River Itchen. And as you can see, it is driving the cogs, which upstairs will be what do you call what, what do you call it when it's grounding uh, the wheat flour into flour? How cool is that? I, I've never even been there. No. But as I said, the power of the river itching. That's incredible. Right, Can next. See how much it was turning. Yes. Next stop. Hang on. King Alfred statue. Now old King Alf up there, he was born in 849 AD and he ruled as the King of Wessex, which Winchester was the capital of. I think most people from Winchester know that fact at least, that yes. it, was the, it was the capital of Wessex. of Wessex, which is basically all the southern part of, um, of England in the time of when the Vikings were coming in and the Scots were, were causing mayhem as well, probably mainly the English. Uh, but it wasn't called England then, it wasn't England then. Uh, it was only really formed as England after King Alfred had died. But this is one of the main, main points of Winchester, I think, that makes it famous, yeah. as well as obviously Winchester Cathedral. But up next, we're gonna check out the mayor's house and his amazing gardens. And hopefully there's some lovely flowers. It's not quite the right time of year, but no? we should be lucky. Let's go check it out, come on. Okay, we are entering the garden of the mayor, but it is one of the places where anyone can go. Yeah. As you can see, it's always pristinely kept. But over there is the mayor's house. Uh, I assume he lives there. I don't know if or it's she. just, or she, I don't know if it's a man or a woman. Uh, so here are the local hoodlums from Winchester. Hi. Uh, they've got a message for you. Go. Like and subscribe. There we go. There we go. I don't know what they're doing. It's just doing hanging around here. Like. <laughs> Always pays to be friendly to the locals. Uh, nice enough bunch of girls. Normally people see you with a camera and they um, laugh at you like they did last week at yeah. Utahs, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, you got all upset because people weren't very nice to you. Okay, next up, we got the Guild Hall.
Fun fact. Uh, I once took a dog to a wedding. You yeah, did? I did. In the Guildhall, they were being married in the Guildhall, and I once took a dog to the wedding, which is quite cool, isn't it? Yeah, that was and quite actually, cool thing too. And actually, Lena walked down, walked down and delivered the rings at our yeah, wedding we as well. Yeah, we had a lady do the same for us. Yeah, right, where are we going to next? Now, this is pretty cool because, oh no, motorbike, motorbike. Uh, Winchester's pretty good, I'll shout. Winchester's pretty good because most days they have a market which goes all the way up, all the way up the high street. Uh, so look at this, hang on. There we go. So they've got a market on. I don't think it's that busy today. I don't know what sort of things they're selling, but let's take a sneak peek. I just showed you the front window of the cathedral and there's something interesting about it and I always got this wrong uh, from memory but it's actually I did a quick little search and in the 1600s there was a civil war between the royalists and the roundheads and one night the roundheads got in wanted to ransack all of the cellars and everything they got a little bit boozy and they thought it'd be a good idea to I think chuck the the bottles and the and the and the alcohol through, through the, the window, window. Wow. through the window, and therefore all the original bits of glass were put back together. But how they did it? That is a real puzzle to complete, yeah. isn't it? We've heard of thousand-piece puzzles, um, but that's why it looks so jumbled. But I that is why it's an absolute mess. But that is an interesting fact. I was always under the belief that um, the top of Stanmore Hill, uh, they fired a cannon at it. That was quite far for a cannon to come, though. No, if cannons go quite far. That was always my impression, but I was clearly wrong. Wrong. Yeah. So so much so much for what I know about my home city. Mm -hmm. uh, right. Let's go round, and we'll show you round the side of it, and then we're going to Jane Austen's house. So we're walking round the side of the cathedral now, and every Christmas time, well, uh, it's not been quite as good in the last couple of years, but round here, they have a Christmas market. Uh, it's normally the the same stuff but a lot of people come from far around just to look at the Christmas market don't they? Did you go this year? I did or go last this year, year should I say? They normally have an ice rink on this bit. Yes they do. But on the grass here, on rink. the grass here they normally have an ice rink. Uh, they didn't have it this year? No ice rink this year. Uh, well. But yeah it's definitely not as big as it has been in previous years but it does draw so many tourists to Winchester. Yeah which is amazing because actually it's not a very big space. No but it's a lot of tourists come just this very small area. Yeah, this is it. There and then up this bit as well. Yeah, you have a little bit in that, in there. But it's you know it's not a huge gap, but it is normally a really big market that takes place. So this really shows the sort of history of Winchester with the Tudor houses. Those two gates that are still around today. You've got the King's Gate here, and then we will end up at the West Gate at the end. But there's only two gates, and these would have surrounded Winchester, added protection, the way in and out. If you think of back in the day, that's the easiest way to say it, all the horse and carts coming in and out. And there is a really, really old bookstore as well. And then we're gonna go see Jane Austen's final home. Come on, come on, let's go. Right, we're at Jane Austen's final home. She was only there for about a few weeks, wasn't she? Yeah, a few weeks. Uh, and do you know any of her novels? Um, Sense and Sensibility, Pride and Prejudice. That's about it, all That's I know. It. But she actually lived for a very long time in Chawton, just outside of Winchester. And there's yeah. a house there that you can go and visit, which is Jane Austen's house. You can go in and visit yeah, see, where she lived. Someone this lives is just here. where she just lived. Someone lives here, for a so few weeks. I think people live here, so you <laughs> yeah. can't just walk in no, and, you can't go and in explore. <laughs> all right, 
Winchester College, and I'll have a little fact for you when we get there. We're at Winchester College. There's, we can't access all of it, and it's actually quite big now. But in 1859, Geelong and Melbourne Football Club were created, but there was no standardised set of rules. And therefore, at Winchester College, the rules were set and created. So there's a little fact for you. And I'm gonna go into the treasury and hopefully they might have more information. We've come in the treasury and they don't have any information on hand, but I've been given a contact and hopefully, hopefully they will have some more information that actually Australians may not know themselves, the link to Winchester College. I think that's absolutely fascinating. So maybe it may be a future video where we can explore a little bit more of how the code was standardized. But we're in the treasury at the moment and it's just loads and loads of really, really cool artifacts. So look, just dating back so long. Ancient Egypt, Greece. Why have they got stuff from ancient Egypt? Why is that? So yeah, basically they've so stolen cool. stuff from Egypt, right? That's basically <laughs> what they've done. So they've got this whole treasury full of old artifacts. So we've started all the way up at St. Giles's Hill, all the way up there, and we have come to the opposite end of the town, as in the city, it's a city, but city. end of the town. Yeah. Anyway, uh, we've come all the way. I hope you enjoyed some of the locations. We are at the final stop, which is the West Gate, which is, whoop, there it is, the West Gate. It's not that exciting, really. No. I, think, I think King's Gate is a little bit nicer, nicer to look yeah. at. Uh, now, we're gonna try and get some food and a drink from O'Neill's. As it's St. Patrick's Day, it looks very busy. It looks really busy. We just walked past. Oh, whether or not we can get a seat or not, hmm. we will see. Okay, let's go. As it is St. Patrick's Day, O'Neill's is full, honestly. Evening. And do you know who it's full? Normally, people have jobs during the day, right? Except yeah. me, obviously. It is full of gypsies. And that's, I don't care. I don't care, that's fine. I just wish there was a seat because there was live music and that as well. It was a really nice atmosphere in I there. Know, I know, I know. And actually, I like O'Neill's, especially when they have a live band playing. But we've come somewhere we like. We have come to... ZZ's. ZZ's. Um, yeah, we've come to ZZ's when we'll probably have a pizza. Yeah. You might have a pasta. Maybe some chips. Maybe some, some chips loaded and nice. That's a sausage. Sausage type sausage chips. So yeah, we're gonna enjoy a late lunch here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed a mini tour around Winchester. I don't have loads of facts because I don't know loads of facts, no. but I gave you a few, I gave you a few. I'm definitely gonna look into the Australian rules and the link with Winchester College, yeah. the whole standardizing the code. I'm gonna email them and that might be another video as well. Uh, but don't forget, like and subscribe. As the Winchester hoodlums said earlier, like and subscribe. And hopefully you'll join us on the next trip. See you next time.